acceptance. What's up guys? So this here is NewDude167 and today what I have for you is exactly what you see, okay? It's a full HD projector. It's the Performance V630. It's a really good projector. It has a lot of great specs, a lot of great details. All right, so with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing an unboxing, okay, or, or a review, okay? I'm going to unbox it. We're going to see exactly what it has, what it has to offer right out the box. Okay, like I said, I'm going to go over all the different specs, all the different details, and then I'm going to go ahead and hook it up, and we're going to see exactly how it performs using my Android box. Okay, but before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, okay? Smash that thumbs up button, comment, and then subscribe. Okay, so first thing is first, guys. So, if you're wanting a, a really nice full HD projector, all you have to do is click the link in the description, Okay, it's going to take you straight to the, the website where you could get one of these. And they're about $260, okay? $260. Bucks. It's a really great projector. Let me tell you everything about it. All the goods, all the specs, all the details. And that will definitely tell you whether or not you want it or you don't, okay? So remember, in the description, there's going to be a link. Click that link and you'll be... And you'll be taken to the website, okay? And that's where you could get this Performance V630 Full HD Projector. Okay, with that being said though, guys, let me go ahead and go over this a little bit as we speak, okay? So, remember, this is the Performance V630. Okay, this is the Performance V630 Native 1080p Full HD Projector, guys. 1080p, pretty nice, guys, pretty nice, okay? It's the 6000 LUX 300 inch LED projector with a plus and minus 45 degree electronic keystone correction. Okay, so in other words, you could use your corrector to go up or down 45 degrees. Really nice, really, really great. Pretty good option, guys. Okay, so this here, this projector is compatible with your TV sticks, your HDMI, Okay, it's compatible with your laptop, smartphone, for whether it's for your home or your business use, okay? All that, a lot of great options. You could use a lot of different devices with this projector, okay? Features and details, okay? So, this here is the V630, which is equipped with native 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's a 5,000 to 1 contrast radio ratio and 50,000 hours of lamp life okay that's a lot of hours guys a lot of hours okay this v630 features a huge projection screen which provides a screen size of 46 inches by 300 inches with the projection of five feet to up to 18 feet guys that is unreal guys unreal all right so this is an exceptional projector which conveys the truest color All right, and true, truest color, which imparts the deepest feelings for the viewer, okay? And that's what we want, guys. What we want with our projectors is the highest and best quality you could possibly get coming from whichever electronic you're using it with, okay? Whether it's a Fire Stick, a, a cell phone, your Android device. It doesn't matter what you're using. You want top quality, the best picture possible. Okay, it has the plus or minus electronic keystone correction technology, which creates the possibility for you to automatically adjust the keystone correction of up to 45 degrees plus or minus. Really great option, guys. Okay, that helps to set it up. Okay, set it up toward your screen. Okay, it is equipped with two HDMI ports, an AV, VGA, USB, a PC, a laptop, and USB sticks as well as SD cards and your Android and iOS devices, okay? You could use all them, all them guys within this one projector. Okay, to top it off, 
Okay, it provides a three month free return for full refund or or not really or but and a three year free repair long life professional customer service and technical support. Okay, so if you buy it, you don't like it, you can send it back within three months, no question asked. Okay, it also has that three years of repair. Okay, really nice. It's professional customer service and technical support. Okay, so this projector here also supports vertical and horizontal offset. All right, that is nice, guys. Vertical and horizontal, okay? Really, really nice. Okay, all you have to do is adjust it by using the electronic keystone correction. Okay, so enough of the details, enough of the specs. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go see exactly what comes within this projector when you first pull it out of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put it sideways because it's kind of it's kind of big. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what it comes within this projector when you first open it up. Okay, remember, guys, it is pretty big. It's pretty good size. Okay, so the first thing we get is this right here. Okay, let's move this on over. All right, let's see what comes in here. Okay, so we have our power cord. We have a HDMI cable. We have our remote. All right, we have our hookup here. Nice. All right, what is this? Okay, it looks like we got some cleaning supplies. Okay, some cleaning supplies. And then we have a couple screws. Not sure what they're for yet. Okay, but that's what we have. That's what comes right off the first, right when you first open it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's next. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and turn it this way. All right, so as you could see, right out of the box, let me take this out, okay? It comes with a case, okay? It's actually a really nice case. All right, here we are. A really nice case, top notch guys, really cool. Has two different handles where you could carry it. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what it looks like. By the way guys, I've already mentioned it, but this is a really, really nice carrying case. Really nice guys, really, really nice. So we're gonna put that to the side. All right, so here we, got, here we are guys. It has a film over it or like a plastic little bag film, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. Okay guys, so. This is what it looks like, okay? Really nice, guys, really, really nice. Okay, it has the logo, okay? So we have all of our buttons toward the top. Let me just flip it on. Okay, let's go front to back, okay? So this is the front view. Okay, the bottom. It has some really nice rubber garments on the bottom. Tells you what it is there. Okay, here's the side. Have a lot of venting so first off there's your SD okay that's your SD slot and then you have your HD your HDMI for one and two okay then we have our VGA our USB and then we have the five the V5 or the 5V your AV all right and then you have your your uh, port for like your headphones stuff like that and then your power cord and then this right here, this gray spot, it's like a, it's like a cotton type filter. I mean, not a filter, but it's cotton, okay? To kind of like, there's a vent right here as well. Okay, we got some more vents on the side here. Really, really, really nice, guys. Really, really nice. Okay, and check this out, guys. We have all these little buttons here, okay? A lot of different buttons. Really, really nice, okay? So... I showed you what it looks like. You know what? I'm going to hook it up. 
I'm going to put my Android device on here, guys. I'm going to hook my Android device up to it. So let me hook it up. We're going to put it on the screen. We're going to check it out. We're going to test it. Let's see exactly how it performs, okay? So give me a minute. Let me hook it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got it connected. I actually hooked it up to my laptop. So I'm going to show you exactly what I have going on over here, okay? I mean, check it out. You know, like I said, I was going to connect I was going to connect it to my Android box. Then I started thinking, you know what? I'm going to have to start blurring stuff out, this and that just to put this video on YouTube. So why not put my own YouTube channel using my laptop, okay? Using the HDMI 1. So let me show you exactly what I have going on. Okay, so here's my laptop. Okay, here's my laptop with the HDMI cable connecting to the projector. Okay, I got this really, really nice stand. And by the way, I'm going to be doing a review on this stand as well as the projector screen. All right, a really, really good setup, guys. So one more time here's the screen okay there's my screen my computer which I'm using to use with my projector HDMI cable running to the projector on top of this really really nice tripod stand okay really really nice okay so there's the HDMI cable the HDMI one power cord all right there's our fans on this side our venting all right, guys, so let's go ahead and check this out in action, okay? I really can't, I don't really have a stand for my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and do it by my, I'm just going to use it myself, okay? I'm going to try to do it myself just using my phone like this, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. One more thing, guys. I have to show you the remote, okay? This is the remote. This is what it looks like, okay? It's just a just your average remote nothing amazing nothing great i mean it works good i'm not gonna lie I've, I've been using it just to check it out try it out some remotes that you get are kind of like um they're like a hit and miss sometimes they work sometimes they don't this one definitely works i just wanted to show you the remote really quick so let me go ahead and turn off the lights and let's check out this projector what i'm gonna be doing is a review on this movie. okay guys so I have it playing on my cha on my channel my YouTube channel all right so here it is guys here it is it's in action really nice guys the picture quality check that out guys it's top-notch guys really really nice okay so I'm gonna turn the volume down really quick let me turn the volume down okay so let's check this out okay so we have our power button, okay, then we have our menu, and a few others, our play button, our okay, left and right, up and down. Okay, so, over here guys, check this out. I'm gonna try to get this on the screen. How am I gonna do this? All right, so, it's not working too great. All right, but, anytime you turn this to the right, let's just check the screen out. Okay, so it makes it really, really blurry, okay? Really, really blurry. So whenever you get this, oh, my bad. Whenever you get your projector and you hook it up, you're going to have to adjust the quality, okay? You're going to have to adjust the zoom in and out until it looks good, okay? So, I'm, I, I'm adjusting it right now. As you could see, all the way to the left, it gets blurry. All the way to the right, it gets a lot better. Just go to where it feels good on your device. All right, so here it is. Okay, so that's the zoom in, that's the zoom out, okay? And this is the big button right here. You just turn it really nice, guys, it, and it spins really easy. And it adjusts really, really quick, okay? So we also have a couple others here, okay? Whenever you use this one here, okay, it tells you exactly what it's going to do, okay? Right here, oh my bad. So this is the zoom in and out. This one's here left to right, okay? So this one here is gonna be to the left and right. That means it's gonna go up or down, if that makes sense, okay? So when I twist it, it's gonna go up or down, okay? Really nice. Okay, so as you could see, the screen quality is just really, really nice, guys. Really, really nice, okay? 
And by the way, to turn up the volume is right here, okay? And this is the actual volume within this device, okay? Let's check it out. All right, guys. so this is the tablet. Really, really nice, guys. It feels really good. The I volume goes right really loud. It's only really on 49, nice and it's already so, really loud, guys, really loud. So overall, the video quality it's as well as the sound really, quality, really nice. top notch, guys, top right notch. Okay, so topic, you know what? It's I'm going to really, do this right really, here. This really is going to be cool. Let, let's turn the volume down. You know what? I'm just going to use the remote. It's a little bit easier, okay? So let's use the remote. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. My bad, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the screen. I'm going to show you a couple different things on the remote, okay? So, can you see that? No, you can't. Ah, dang it. Okay, so on your remote, you have a couple different options, okay? On the bottom, on the bottom, you know what? Let me turn the light on before we could do this where you could see it. Okay, guys, so here's the remote, okay? I'm going to go ahead and push this middle button. Okay, the middle button, and you could calibrate it, okay? Check this out. If you want to calibrate it, you could go all the way to, look at how it turns, that's really nice, guys. That's so cool, okay? You go, it, it goes pretty far, left to right. Okay, I just have to show you these different options really quick. I know it may it may not make a difference. It may make a difference. I don't know, but I'm showing you. Okay, we're gonna get that back to zero. Okay, let's go here. Okay, check this out. Really cool. It has that option as well. Okay, I didn't go all the way because I'm just making this video really quick, as quick as I could possibly make it. And then here we go. It, it angles that way as well this is really cool guys I've been I I I've, the only time I've been messing around with it is since I opened it up guys I I ain't gonna lie okay you could rotate it look at that guys that's nice that's cool all right we'll go ahead and go back the other way now really cool guys that's really awesome Okay, so let me skip this app. Okay, so it's back at zero. You could do the auto adjust if you want, or you could just reset it. All right, really nice. My bad, guys. My bad. Okay, so that was this middle button right here. Okay, that was this middle button. Let's push the three lines or the hamburger. Okay, so you have your picture mode, which is standard. You could do the temperature, which is medium, your ratio. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of different options, guys. Okay, you have your aspect aspect ratio. Oh, my bad, guys. Let's do this over in case you missed it. Okay, so you have your picture mode, which is standard. Your color temperature, which is medium. Aspect ratio, 16.9, which that's what I use on pretty much all my devices. Okay, projection, direction, front. Okay, check this out, guys. So, on desk. Okay. On ceiling okay on rear and then back to front so you could do a couple different options which is really nice really cool guys really cool all right and then you have your reduced display size by a hundred percent all right cool guys cool all right but though guys I just wanted to show you a quick overview of this this projector here it's a nice projector guys I mean it's a really nice projector and remember, it has a lot of great features, a lot of great details. All right. Remember, though, guys, I just wanted to do a quick review on this. Just a really quick review, okay? Nothing, the not the best, not the worst. I just wanted to show you exactly what it had to offer, stuff like that, okay? And remember, I'm going to be doing a review on the stand as well, which is a really great tripod, as well as this really nice screen that I have gotten as well, okay? But remember, this is the first time opening it up. Remember, if you want one, there's going to be a link in the description, guys. Go click on it. It'll route you to the website. It's about $259.99, about $260. Check it out, guys. It's not bad whatsoever. 
All right, so with that being said, remember this is the Performance V630. All right, it's a full HD projector, guys, the native 1080p full HD projector, okay? Really nice, it has that plus and minus 45 degree electronic keystone correction. Really great, guys. You could use this on a lot of different devices, such as your your TV sticks. I mean, anything with the HDMI cable, your laptops, your smartphones. I mean, Android boxes. Pretty much anything you have will pretty much hook up here, okay? I mean, you have a lot of different ports. Really nice. I'm going to hook up my Android box here in a minute. Check it out. I'm going to see what it looks like. As you could see, just using my laptop, it was a really great, it's, it plays really nice, the quality's great, the picture's great, not bad whatsoever. All right, and remember, you have all them different features, the 1920 by 1080 resolution, it's the 5,000 to 1 contrast ratio with 50,000 hours of lamp life. I mean, there's a lot of options, guys. You could use this pretty much for home Home-wise, business-wise, whatever it is, if you need a projector, this is definitely a projector you would be wanting to get. Not bad whatsoever. I just took it out of the box. But remember, though, guys, I always, and I'm going to do this, okay? This is the first time. This is the review. It's the, the opening up the box. It's the box review. See exactly what you get whenever you open up the box. All the different options, the components, all the different just everything when you first open it up okay and then here in about two three weeks i'm going to do another review okay i'm going to do another review after i mess with it a little bit because you know whenever you first open up a product i mean you see the specs you see the details on everything i mean everything looks good in the beginning pretty much everything okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another review in about two weeks or so and we're gonna do a two week review to show you all the pros, the cons, and the goods and the bads, okay? Just to show you or just to let you know what you think or what I thought about it after using it for about two weeks or so, all right? So stay tuned for that. And with that being said though, guys, like I said, if you want one, there's gonna be a link in the description. Click it, it'll take you to the website, and that's where you would get this really nice projector. Which is the which is the performance v six thirty okay, and with that being said, I'm gonna be ending this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, okay, smash that thumbs up button, comment, okay, let me know what you think, and if there's any tips or tricks I could do or use on this on the next video or whenever I'm doing a review on one of these these um projectors, let me know, guys, let me know I mean. I don't, I don't use projectors too often. I mean, it's something new to me. It's pretty nice, not bad whatsoever. All right, and like I said, with that being said, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll check you all in the next video. Thank you for stopping by.